I want you to think of everything that you buy in a day. This includes gas, food, McChickens, water bills, electric bills, house payments, etc. Now, in that list, think of the things that cost less than a dollar. Could you live in function off that one thing? According to World Bank, this is how 15,268,239 people in Afghanistan live their daily life. According to the World Bank, Afghanistan has been in poverty since 2007. For the past 10 years, they have been in the extreme poverty rate, with more than 56% of Afghans not being able to, to afford basic needs for everyday life. Afghanistan and the United States have also been in war for 18 years. Some say that we are responsible for some of their poverty troubles. However, Afghanistan is more vulnerable than ever, and the United States needs to step in and take over. The extreme poverty in Afghanistan is an issue that needs our immediate attention. Well, OCHA and the World Bank have created the top nine reasons on how a country shows signs to leading into poverty. These include little to no access to jobs, conflict, inadequate access to clean water and nutritious food, inequality, poor education, climate change, lack of infrastructure, limited capacity of the government, and lack of reserves. Afghanistan has shown all of these signs. Each one of these issues can take decades to fix. However, without a stable government and lack of funds, the choice on which conflict to solve first is limited. The lack of proper education is arguably the most crucial deficit. Without proper education, Afghans will never know what is truly ethical in the world and most are illiterate. The U.S. needs to care about this issue more than ever. A country who is in extreme poverty is when they are the most vulnerable to an ideology change. Right now, Afghanistan is a terrorist threat to our national security. If we have the power to keep them under control and change their views, we will no longer be at risk. This change can be created by the U.S. military and government. Since we already are in conflict with them, we know more about them and how they live. Helping them get back on their feet will eliminate the chance of them becoming terrorists. Our military and government have already attempted to change the Afghanistan government into a democracy, but have failed. This failed attempt might discourage them. However, we can view the setback as extended time and a new way to approach them. We already know how not to approach them. So with more preparation and new techniques, we have a better chance of gaining power. We are Americans, not Americans, right? So when we start something, we need to finish it. Now, Afghanistan's poverty is a major concern because they do not know how to get out of it. We find a way to, if we find a way to rescue them from their own problems, our reputation as a country will incline tremendously. So how do we help Afghanistan? Well, according to OCHA, the first issues that we must focus on are strengthening the agriculture, investing in human development, and managing risks and diseases that increase poor people's vulnerability. Once these are improved, we can then focus on bigger problems. Some might think that creating a new government might be more beneficial. However, they are wrong because the people and how they live needs to come first. Changing the government is a strong need. However, that can be held off longer than changing the lifestyle of Afghans. Personally, I think that we need to think of the people first. Teach them how to create a better lifestyle for themselves and their families, and then it'll spread to the entire country. America needs to shift their focus to poverty in Afghanistan. We need to care about this issue because it will improve our reputation and decrease the risk of more terrorism. We need to raise money and funds to send educated Americans to help the Afghans and teach them how to improve their quality of life with just a few simple adjustments. One way that you can give money to is by going to the link down below. Once you get to this article, the first thing that you will notice is that there is no topic about our military helping Afghanistan. This is when you need to share this video to everyone and make this issue public. Or you can go to the World Bank and support them as well. Thank you.